Hi students. Uh, now let's see uh, the steps for converting the context-free grammar into CNF. That is a Chomsky normal form. In the previous video, I explained what is a Chomsky normal form. If any grammar is in not in CNF, uh, how can you say that it is not in CNF? If it is not following any one of the rules of the Chomsky normal form. What are the rules of the Chomsky normal form? Just recall it. The first rule is uh, either the production contains the start symbol uh, should have contained epsilon or any non-terminal any non-terminal okay any non-terminal is followed with two non-terminals okay any non-terminal is following with two non-terminals then you can say that the given grammar is in Chomsky normal form okay non-terminal is determines two non-terminals then it is in CNF or a a non-terminal is generating a terminal, then it is in CNF. So, these are the three rules that it has to follow. Any one of the condition has to be satisfied in that a production. Either this or this or this. Okay. Then you can say that the grammar is in CNF. Suppose if it is not in CNF, that is it is only generating a single symbol or it is only generating a, a, a terminal with a non followed by non-terminal, then you can say that the grammar is in not in CNF. Let's see how to convert the steps. The steps for converting the context-free grammar into Chomsky normal form. First, eliminate the start symbol from the RHS. So, if you want to start with, first eliminate the start symbol from the RHS. So, if the start symbol T is at the right-hand side of the production, create a production as. Okay. So, you have to start, suppose S is a start symbol, just uh, replace that. Yeah, eliminate the start symbol from the right hand side so you have to eliminate the start symbol from the right hand side like this so here i'm just taking a new start symbol s1 and that s1 is can you can replace with the s so this is the first step to converting the context free grammar into chomsky normal form so create a new production that is a new start symbol s1 determines s s is our previous start symbol now i'm replacing the s with s1 Okay, S1 with S. So what? Second step. In the grammar, remove the null, unit and useless production. So the first thing is, in the context-free grammar, try to remove the, uh, that is, we are uh, simplifying the context-free grammar. If you want to convert into Chomsky normal form, first you need to simplify the context-free grammar. How you are going to simplify the context-free grammar? By removing the null productions, by you removing the uh, unit productions and by removing the useless productions. So that I already explained in the previous video. If you want to know how to remove those null, unit and useless productions, just follow my previous videos so the okay which is which is a simplification of the context free grammar now let's see the second step is here these are the steps for converting cfg into cnf so first thing is you have to create a new production for the start symbol and the second thing is remove the null productions unit productions and useless productions if that are present in if anything present in the context free grammar okay i removed it next Eliminate the terminals from the right hand side of the productions if they exist with other non-terminals or terminals. Suppose if the grammar is in like this, which is violating the Chomsky normal form. It is a context-free grammar and it is also the uh, useful gram production only and it is not a null product and it is not a unit product also. Okay, so I, uh, I remove all the null productions, unit productions and the useless productions. But still my grammar contains these type of productions. So if these type of productions are there, try to eliminate terminals from the, what are the terminals here? A is the terminal. Try to eliminate the terminals from the right hand side of the production if it exists with other non-terminals on the terminals. So, suppose if it is, the production is like this. I want to create, I, I can be decomposed as, okay, this production I can be decomposed as. So, S determines A is my uh, production which is violating the Chomsky normal form. I want to convert it into Chomsky normal form. How? I am just decomposing it decompose it means i am going to divide this production as s determines r a and r is replaced with a so both are the same so finally you will get s determines a only in place of r if you substitute small letter a you will get this production only so but i decompose this step uh, single production into two productions so that it is in chomsky it is in 
CNF. How can I say it is in CNF? Because one non-terminal is producing two non-terminals. That is the second rule. And one uh, the terminal non-terminal is generating a terminal, which is a third rule of Chomsky. So now it is in CNF. So if you want to make a, a production into CNF, you want to decompose it by two with two productions. So replaced with a non-terminal, and that non-terminal is determines the terminal. I hope you understand how I just uh, changing the uh, CN, context free grammar into CNF. Next, eliminate RHS with more than two non terminals. Suppose there are two more than two non terminals. Here, S determines ABS. Here, three non terminals is there, but we want only two non terminals. Then, what you are doing? So, replace with S determines RS, means this AB I am replacing with R. Okay, S determines RS and R is nothing but AB. R is substituted with AB. Finally, you will get this production only. If you substitute uh, in place of R, if you substitute AB, you will get S determines ABS only. Okay, but I just decompose this single production into two productions and I make these productions which are in Chomsky normal form. Okay, if the given grammar is in the right hand side if it is more than two non terminals just decompose it like this s determines rs r is nothing but ab so these are the steps to convert uh, the context free grammar into chomsky normal form so in the next video i'll explain with an example then you can get a clear idea what is exactly the chomsky normal form was thank you